So we have another chance to play on third pick. Uh, <laughs> I just claim uh, get my favorite rolls. I look at uh, the Nyan Gotso. <laughs> he reminds me of Nyan Tonso, which is probably <laughs> why he uh, is playing him. So most likely I'm going to be playing AD. Or support if Zar uh, is playing like a bitch. We'll see. Mm, I don't really mind playing support, uh, but I do kind of um, like to play it as, as little as possible, just so I don't get uh, bored of playing support. Most of the time people claim uh, AD and top and I kind of like both roles so we'll see I'm on the case. Uh, seeing as I haven't looked at my art page in a while, I'm just checking it out. Yeah, it's actually a pretty decent build. Of course you got 21 in offense. Um, you could take Butcher. Which is actually pretty nice for AD carrying as it help, helps you um, last hit a bit more in late game, uh, early game. Uh, you don't really need cooldown reduction as Caitlyn is pretty much mana staffed early on. Uh, you could take uh, Summoner's Wrath, however I prefer taking Barrier on my AD carry as it helps me in trades. against Ferris, I kind of want to check him out. We're strong again, and I notice it's actually pretty good against him. Uh, and I'm actually wondering if this is going to be nice for us. Uh, what I do like about our team is our ability to poke a bit. Caitlyn has a very high range together with Ari who has a lot of uh, uh, range attack damage and Jace is about the biggest poker in the game. When I look at this team comp, I do think that uh, our biggest challenge will be to survive the diving run. So Anthony and Shen and Leona are going to dive past our front line towards me. And it's all about my uh, ability to position well in the back and not get caught out. Our team has pretty nice disengage, seeing as Sejuani has a very nice ultimate, which can be either used offensively or defensively, and uh, Ari can charm anyone who dies past her. Uh, Thresh with the Q and ultimate are uh, very nice in allowing the enemy, uh, 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 allowing us to stop the enemy 
um, dive. So, hmm. I'm really worried uh, about the Shen because Shen's ultimate allows him to um, help out any lane uh, post six. So it would be good for Sejuani to uh, gank bottom lane before six. So my strategy on Caitlyn is pretty much to farm, 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 and that's actually what I'm going to try and do now, even though uh, Varys puts down a lot of damage with his uh, Q, I think it is. So I will pick up boots and pots, just because I want to have a bit more sustainability early game. And uh, probably Trash will try and defend me, so that's good. And I'm just wondering about what I should do. So while I'm waiting for the game to start, I'm just looking up Ferris. Oh, I heard a click, meaning we've probably started. So pick up boots, three pots, I love a good chase. and move towards la lane. <laughs> so Jess make, makes a joke, Welcome I hope, to and says beer are back 20 minutes. So he picks up Fairy Charm, <laughs> what in a couple of pots, and <laughs> for a moment I was pretty <laughs> scared. <laughs> so that's a fun little start. I was a bit worried there, but <laughs> in the end it doesn't matter as uh, he moves up towards <laughs> oh, wrapped off. So that's good. A uh, little joke to uh, ease up the... Uh, the people. So apparently Sejuani is starting rep off. I always believed that Sejuani would be more uh, blue buff dependent for skills and stuff. However, rep buff uh, mostly means that the <laughs> um, probably going to go for an early gank. So that's really nice. Minions I hope he will um, to, to try. Uh, he will hope to try. I hope he that's will try to gank top lane. But most likely, seeing as he's friend with our mid laner, he's going to go for. Um, gank on mid, which also should be fine because it will allow uh, uh, Ari to to uh, move up a bit faster um, and perhaps gank our lane. So we just help her with some damage, and uh, I move back, allowing Trash to uh, keep a bit longer and put some damage. So Jace right now is doing no, okay, I think. Oh, and right at the start, I don't have any cover, and I do try to go for a CS, and I have to use my barrier for it. So right away, I have to use my potion, which isn't that nice, but oh well. Want to see a hat trick? Sometimes you have to work hard to get back into the game. So I'm a bit behind I think. Probably the enemy team is uh, getting level 2 pretty fast. I track. was able to pick up some extra uh, experience just because Trash wasn't in, uh, in lane. Uh, meaning I'm most likely going to hit level 2 real soon. I just pick up an extra escape. Uh, seeing as I already lost my barrier. And I don't want to stay too long. Oh, I make some mistakes. And I just try to farm up a bit. A bit. Don't be caught flat Meanwhile, Trash is 
uh, doing a pretty good job at defending me. However, we're not able to uh, do a lot of um, damage on the enemy team yet, uh, which for me is okay, as Leona has. A lot of damage. So I really want to uh, farm near tower. I don't want to go under tower as it will probably open me up to losing a lot of CS. Oh, they. The enemy is able to put down a lot of damage and we have to run back towards our own turret. And we trade a bit, uh, uh, using a couple of extra potions and Shen stays around a bit longer. But I don't have any mana so I stay back and just hope. Shen will go back soon. So, a very nice gank of Sejuani, uh, held by the trash. Uh, and we're able to pick up a double kill. I'm not able to pick up any of the two. However, just the fact that I get some free farm and uh, the enemy misses some experience will definitely allow me to be more effective. Me. So, me? very good jungler, me. I think. He w uh, outweighed uh, Shen, um, uh, where uh, the other team figured that they were already gone and they could pressure us more. Um, however, they definitely um, felt it when they overcommitted. So, I have a pretty big wave. And right now, I have to be careful to last hit correctly. Uh, enemy jungle of enemy AD carry returns. He bought a vampiric scepter, allowing him to uh, receive a pretty decent um, power spike. And I just pick up a vampiric scepter and a couple of potions. Uh, right now, I, I uh, most likely want to go for an IE first, so meaning I'll have to buy BF sword, pickaxe and Cloak of Agility first. So I'm moving back towards lane. I have 33 seconds left on my ward and if I'm a bit careful I might be able to put some damage down on the ward. Even though I still... Right. Uh, this will open me up to a bit of aggression of Leona. So right now I'm just wondering if I uh, really want to commit it. And I decide not to go for it as Uh, it's very, it can be very dangerous to go against. Aliona. So I, I do think I made the correct decision there, just not to go on the tower. Boom. Headshot. As most likely uh, Leona would have been in range for a Q, and I would have had to use either barrier or flash which is down at the moment so to get out so, so i just keep on farming i do believe that my farm is a bit too low right now um, i've been kind of messing up a bit in the farm department the however trick. i move forward uh Sejuana is uh, right now is Sorry, I was a, <laughs> a bit uh, distracted. My team uh, helps me very much and I'm able to survive it even though, to be honest, I played this pretty badly. I missed my Q. Uh, instead of That's using an E, I used a W and uh, I allowed the enemy, uh, Leona, to get pretty close. So, in the end, it doesn't matter. We pick up two kills. 
And right now Trash has uh, two kills and two assists, allowing him to buy either some extra gold tent items or maybe a support item. So we're definitely playing pretty decently in the lane, even though I'm uh, pretty far behind Ferris in the farm department. So Joanna also picks up two kills and uh, will definitely become a menace late game as he can become very tanky and uh, just uh, pretty much annoy the enemy team. So Trash is in mid, uh, which is pretty um, bad for me. As uh, with with um, with a Leona, you have to be careful um, not to move too close, uh, or else he will definitely stun you. So that's exactly what happens. And I move back towards my tower. Uh, out uh, trades a bit with the Leona, Leona and uh, wait until either. We go in, or we get driven. So any. my flash is up again. However, I still have a 90 second cooldown on my uh, barrier. Uh, even though I know that Varus also used his barrier uh, last uh, match, so I will have a uh, barrier sooner than him. So Trash is getting pretty big right now, and I really ha um, have to rely on him to allow me to get some uh, extra farm, seeing as I wasn't able. So, again, Trash picks up the kill, um, and I decide not to use my ultimate on Varus, as he, it will mean he, he will Sorry, definitely boys. have to go back towards base to buy. So this allows us to farm a bit up, push towards tower. <laughs> right now we're 11 and 0, meaning we're, we are getting pretty strong. And I just put some damage down on the tower, not too much. Just because we're winning our lane so bad, uh, we really want to try and keep it as long alive as possible. This is a common mistake AD carries make early game. Uh, when you are ahead, uh, er, uh, you really want to wait until you can uh, get some advantage in other lanes before pu uh, uh, pushing down the first turret. This is because if you do so, you allow the enemy, the enemy lane to Uh, you, allow the, you, uh, you allow the enemy lane to farm up um, in the safety of their inner turret. So never push the, uh, uh, the inner tower unless you're able to um, capitalize on perhaps the middle tower. An exception to this rule is when you're pushing um, and the enemy middle tower uh, is pushed. Because if you wait for this moment, uh, you are still uh, able to put pressure on the enemy lane. So right now I see that Shen shows himself bot lane, and I just play safe near tower. I don't go near the brush, but I don't go uh, back either because I want him to waste as much time as possible in order for us to get some advantages on other lanes. So the call is made for Varus to, to attack Varus and we go in, we're able to, uh, to get some damage and I flash back uh, just uh, because I'm getting uh, attacked by both um, Shen and Leona. Uh, right now I'm 0 and 7, and both the jungler and support have been getting a lot of um, kills in this lane. Uh, for me it doesn't matter, because I, I like to focus on getting a lot of farm, and seeing as we're so far ahead, it's not really uh, a problem. So, uh, <laughs> this happens a lot to me, uh, as I don't really play a lot of support of, uh, or AD carry, and uh, it just means 
that I have to practice a bit more. Uh, what I do see a lot is that late game I pick up a lot of extra kills and I make up for the losses I get early on. So I have enough for um, uh, a BF sword and right now I'm just really wondering what would be the best uh, course of action for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna decide on going for a Bloodthirster first just as I already have the uh, Vampire Scepter and this will allow me to get an early spike in damage. I'm looking at the enemy items teams. I see the Cutlass for uh, Varus, uh, together with, uh, with the Berserker's Grease and a Durant Blade. So he's definitely pretty strong. Uh, and I also notice that I'm only 10, um, 10 CS behind him. So I'm getting back pretty decently. However, he, he personally is, is still a bit stronger. And I just continue farming. So Leona is able to push in and they're pretty much able to take me down pretty fast. So that's uh, not so nice but um, not too big of a problem seeing as we're still 14 kills ahead and the uh, mid lane uh, rotates towards bot lane in order to help gank the other lane. So we're able to pick up one kill uh, and another kill on Varus and Thresh uh, goes behind Shen uh, in the hopes of taking him down. I signal them to retreat just because I notice that Pantheon is moving uh, forward and uh, it's now 3v3 and both of them are pretty low. So I move towards them, I check the range of my ultimate and I'm so far away that that's not going to be of any uh, real help for them. So Thresh gets attacked, is able to survive a bit longer, but now uh, both of our, all of our people are pretty low. So I'm able to get into um, a range and I'm able to take out Pantheon with my ultimate. So that's nice. Uh, this forces Brand to play more defensively and move back towards his tower. And so I just push forward the wave. I use my E to get a bit closer, however I'm not able to get close enough. <laughs> That's close enough. And uh, <laughs> I move uh, back as soon as I notice uh, Ferris returns to the lane. So right now I have Vampire Scepter and I have 12 on gold. I have enough to buy my uh, Bloodthirster. So I head back towards my base to pick up a Bloodthirster and perhaps the first item of my second. Um, Let's investigate. I decide to wait for um, see a my IE just because Caitlyn does so many uh, critical strikes that uh, building IE on her is definitely the strongest way to go. I do however pick up Blotters first just because the enemy team has such um, diving potential that I really want to be able to sustain a bit longer against the enemy team. So uh, BT gives uh, one attack damage uh, for 30 stacks and also a bit of extra life steal. So well definitely if you uh, uh, make 30 uh, kills, minion kills, it will give you 30 extra attack damage and it's just a very strong item to pick up. So I notice there's a ward in mid. I pick, uh, I put down a W and I move towards my team. Uh, personally, I would really like to go on Dragon right now, just because uh, we don't really want to tower dive them, and uh, this way we can force them to react. So many bad Caitlyn has a pretty long range, so I try to seize the turret, and we're all taking a bit of damage. My BT though gives me a lot of possibility to sustain it itself, and we're just able to siege down on the tower. So Giovanni calls for a tower dive and we immediately dive forward. I take down a lot of 
enemies. And I'm able to pick up one extra kill. So, I stay a bit close. Just to cover the retreat of our team. Uh, I E over the wall, just so I'm able to take down the middle so we exchange one for three there which is definitely a very nice uh, trade and I just move towards the rest of my jungle of the, towards enemy jungle to pick up some extra lives and gold so already I'm at 1200 gold again which is pretty decent and right now I just want to push in the wave uh, to allow uh, to give us some more pressure. Uh, call comes for to go to Dragon. Uh, I'm not really sure because the enemy is really uh, aggressive and we don't have our jungler in here. So right now Trash makes a bit of a weird jump. And and we're able to take down Pangean just before he's able uh, uh, just before Shin is able to ult. So all in all, pretty decent trade again. Oh, however, we are forced on the turret. <laughs> and again, the enemy, uh, our, my friends take uh, all, all the kills. So I get spotted by Brand. However, he's not able to take me down quick enough. And I move forward in the hopes of killing him before he is able to kill me. So I get ignited and die to it. Uh, but in the end, we're still to trade two for four. And the Sage One is able to push the top tower. So the enemy team agrees to the surrender. And all in all, it was pretty uh, GG. Actually. So this session, I lost one. I won one. And it's actually going pretty well. Um, I pick up my first win of the day. Mm-hmm.